this is Armando coming to you from Northern California with a tutorial on the following. How do we set up Team Talk? What's involved? What is Team Talk? And how do we use it? It is hoped that by the end of this tutorial, you, the user, will be able to set up, configure, and use Team Talk so that you are able to participate in Team Talk socials pre-recording sessions, or whatever else is scheduled on TeamTalk. What is TeamTalk? TeamTalk is a multi-voice conferencing system which allows you, the participant, to participate in TeamTalk socials with people from all over in real time. This differs from Skype in several ways. For starters, we all know that Skype has a limit of 25 users. It takes one person to run the call and, of course, if you are a member of the Skype call or whatever the situation at hand is, you are then added to this call. TeamTalk, on the other hand, is a server-based platform where you log into a server based on credentials that you were given, whether it's an open or closed server. You are then placed in what we will refer to as a channel, also known as a lobby or room. No one has to facilitate the call. It is a standalone deal where a server is configured, you connect to it, and you are basically in the call. Does this sound tricky to you? No problem. I will attempt to guide you through the process so that you are able to download the TeamTalk file, install it on your computer, go through the TeamTalk preferences, set up a server, and much more. TeamTalk is available for both Windows, Mac, Android, iPhone, and Linux users. It is wise to say that both the Android and the Mac version are somewhat inaccessible in various aspects. It is difficult for a Mac user to join a room or do any sort of team talk actions without the need to navigate with your voiceover commands, gestures, and who knows what else. On the Android side, some buttons aren't labeled, but that does not mean you can't use it. One has to explore as each Android operating system and its configuration differs. Linux is a hit and miss. I've used Linux and for the most part it is okay, but there are some stuff that can be improved upon. Nonetheless, those three platforms that I mentioned are accessible, but to an extent. iOS and Windows may be your best bet but that should not discourage you from exploring how to use it on Linux, Mac, and or Android. For this demonstration, we are going to use a bootcamp Mac, meaning a Mac that has Windows, so that you are able to follow along and download the TeamTalk client, configure it, set it up, log onto the server, and we will be demoing this with a copy of NVDA, non-visual desktop access. The keystrokes and stuff that I will be mentioning can also be used with your screen reader of choice. For more information on available scripts and such, you can visit D Lee, D as in dog, L E E, Lima Echo Echo dot org, O R G, where you can find both JAWS, Job Access with Speech Scripts, as well as NVDA, Non Visual Desktop Access Add on for TeamTalk. Keep in mind that the newest version of TeamTalk does automatically come with both JAWS and NVDA enabled as far as accessibility goes. Therefore, it is up to you whether or not you wish to install the JAWS and or NVDA add-ons. I am going to use Firefox for this demonstration as my web browser of choice, but the same can be accomplished if you use Internet Explorer, Google, and whatever other browser you have available to you. I am going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find Firefox. Firefox 505. And we're going to hit enter. Mozilla Firefox. Google Mozilla Firefox. Google document busy. Search combo box collapsed as auto complete editable. Google document busy. Search combo box collapsed as auto complete editable. And as you heard, my homepage open, which happens to be Google. I am going to go to my address bar, which in this case will be control L or however you navigate it with your browser. And I'm going to type in the following address. Navigation tool for tool bar. Search with Google render address combo box collapsed. Edit as auto complete. Selected HTTPS. www. The address we're going to type is bearware, B-E-A-R-W-A-R-E -A -R -A -R -E dot D as in dog, K as in kilo. B unselected, E-A-R-W-A-R-E -A -R -A -E dot D, K. And I'm going to press enter. Bearware DK, home of the Team Talk conferencing system document busy. Link Bearware DK. Bearware DK, home of the Team Talk conferencing system. You can definitely explore this website. For this instance, I am going to tab until I find Team Talk 5. Home link. Products link. 
Form link. Contact link. Consulting link. Implement customer specific features link. Team Talk 5 link. Team Talk 5 conferencing system. And I am going to hit enter. Team Talk 5 conferencing system. Bearware DK document busy. Link Bearware DK. And as you heard, we heard a link and the page open and it said Team Talk 5. So what we want to find is the following. Download link. You can tab around until you find the download link. Or if you would like to use your hotkeys, you can of course insert S7 with JAWS and find the letter D for download. But in this case, I'm already here, so I'm going to hit enter. Download Team Talk 5. Bearware DK document busy. Link Bearware DK. So now we are on the downloads page of Team Talk 5. Depending on your letter navigation, you can either tab or hit the letter H for headings. If you tab around, you're going to find the Team Talk name version and it's going to give you a number .exe, which is basically the setup file. For this demonstration, I'm going to hit the letter H. Home of the Team Talk conferencing system link there where DK. And I'm going to hit it again. Download Team Talk 5. Because we want to land on where it says download Team Talk 5. And if we use our arrow keys, we will hear the Team Talk 5 conferencing system consists of both the client and server application. Most users will only need to install the client application unless they also intend to run their own Team Talk 5 server. When installing Team Talk 5 for Windows Visually Impaired, users should choose to install Link Team Talk 5. Link Classic Client for accessibility instead of the regular Team Talk 5 client since the Classic version works better with screen readers. So as you heard, we heard a lot of information about Team Talk, what it comes with, the package, and beyond. For us visually impaired people, when we install Team Talk, which I will walk you through, we are going to want to check the box that says Team Talk 5 Classic for Accessibility. When we get to that item at hand, I will cover this more in detail. For now though, let's tab and let's see what we hear. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X Link. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup.exe. This is the file that we want. And if you're a Mac user, of course, you could tab and find your respective distribution or setup file for your operating systems. Android and iPhone users, you can download TeamTalk via your respective app or Play stores. And what you are going to find is TeamTalk 5 by Bjorn Rasmussen. So we're going to hit enter. And when we hit enter, it's going to ask us, do we want to save this file, which we do. Opening Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X dialog you have chosen to open. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X, which is binary file, 16.8 MB from HTTP. Airware DK, would you like to save this file? Opening Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X dialog you have chosen to open. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X, which is binary file, 16.8 MB from HTTP. Airware DK, would you like to save this file? Cancel button. So right now it's asking me, do I want to open or save this file? And I'm going to tab. Edit read only. Select a binary file, 16.8 MB. Tab again. Save file button. And we want it to save the file. And... It's about a 16.8 megabyte file, as it said. And by default, it will save to your downloads folder in Firefox. Other browsers, you may have to consult where your files save. So we're going to hit enter. Download Team Talk 5, Bearware DK Mozilla Firefox. Download Team Talk 5, Bearware DK Mozilla Firefox. Download Grouping List. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X 100. Unknown time left 16.8 of 16.8 MB. Zero byte set. Cancel 101. Team Talk V5.3.3 Setup X complete at 16.8. And depending on your internet speed, it's either going to download fast or it's going to download slow, however time it takes. We will now close Firefox and we will navigate to our downloads folder where we will find Team Talk. Desktop list, Firefox 505, Firefox 505. And depending on your setup, you may have to search for your downloads folder. But in my case, I have an icon that has my name on it, meaning it's also my documents and such. So I'm going to hit the letter A. Armando 105. And there's my name, also known as my documents and everything else that's stored in this particular icon. So I'm going to hit enter. Armando window, items view list, 3D objects not selected, 1 to 14, preview, level 0, quick access expanded, 1 to 2. As you heard, it said what was in this particular icon or folder. I am going to hit the letter D until I hear downloads. Items view list, desktop 3 of 14, documents 4 of 14, downloads 5 of 14. And I'm going to hit enter. Items view list, team talk V5.3.3 setup not selected, 1 to 1. Being as it may, this is a fresh copy of Windows that has been installed on this computer. So the only thing that's in my downloads folder is team talk. And in your case, it may defer. As such, you can do letter navigation by spelling T-E-A, and hopefully Team Talk does come up for you. So I will select this. Selected. It's already selected, and I'm going to hit Enter. Window dialog. Pane. Store experience host window. Work in progress star. The app you're trying to install isn't a verified app from the store grouping. Clickable get apps from store button. The app you're trying to install isn't a verified app from the store document button. And if you're a Windows 10 user, you'll probably get this message that this is not a verified app from the store. 
and I'm going to tab to see what options I have. Clickable install anyway button. Install anyways. Change my app recommendation settings. Link. Change my app recommendation settings. Get apps from store button. Get apps from store. Install anyway button. Install anyways, which I am going to install anyways. Now your options or your settings may be different as TeamTalk is compatible with Windows 7 or later. If you are running XP, you are basically left out of the dust as the last compatible TeamTalk 5 for XP is TeamTalk version 5.2.3. So I'm going to hit enter. Pane, downloads, window, items, view list, TeamTalk 5.3.3, setup, 1 to 1, setup. Set up Team Talk 5 dialog license agreement. Please read the following important information before continuing. Please read the following license agreement. You must accept the terms of this agreement before continuing with the installation. Edit read only multi line. Airware DK freeware license agreement. And of course, you were presented with the license agreement. You can read that on your own leisure, as I am not going to bore you with that. We're going to tab until we find. I do not accept the agreement. Radio button check LD. I do not accept the agreement, which obviously, if you don't accept it, it's not going to let you install. So we're going to up arrow once. I accept the agreement. Radio button check LD. And of course, we would like to accept the agreement and we will tab. Next button, Alt N. Or if you are a shortcut user like myself, you could hit Alt N for next. I will press enter here. To continue, click next. If you would like to select a different folder, click browse, edit, select to see program files, Team Talk 5. Here it's going to ask you, where do you want to install Team Talk? By default, it already has its own file folder structure created. I suggest that you leave this at the default unless you have your own preference. You can, of course, change it at your own leisure convenience. So I am going to tab to the next button. Browse, button Alt R. Back button Alt E. Next button Alt N. Hit enter. Select the components you want to install. Clear the components you do not want to install. Click next when you are ready to continue. Combo box team talk five client collapsed. If you recall, the homepage read to us about the team talk client for accessibility. This is where you would select that option. When you hit the spacebar, you are not gonna hear whether or not it's checked. Usually by default, these are unchecked. So we will down arrow. Team Talk 5 Client Server. Team Talk 5 Classic Client for Accessibility. Team Talk 5 Classic Client for Accessibility is unchecked, so we are going to select that and you're not going to hear nothing. Fear not, it will be highlighted once you hit the spacebar. Now we're going to tab to Next. Back button Alt E. Next button Alt N. To continue, click Next. If you would like to select a different folder, click Browse, Edit, Select the Team Talk 5. Here it's going to basically say what would you like this to appear in your Start menu. By default, it's just Team Talk 5. You can leave it as is or change it at your own leisure. So we are going to tab. Browse, button Alt R. Don't create a start menu folder checkbox, not check LT. Don't create a start menu. This is a per user preference. If you would like to create a start menu folder or not. I usually leave this unchecked, so we will stick with the defaults. Back button LT. And of course, we're going to tab till we hear. Next button LT. And we're going to press enter. Select the additional tasks you would like set up to perform while installing Team Talk 5. Then click next. Review. Create a desktop shortcut checkbox selected, not checked. Here it's going to ask you if you want to create a desktop shortcut. Most people prefer to do this, so you can of course check this box, but in my case, I don't like to have my desktop cluttered, so I will choose to leave this box unchecked. Create a quick launch shortcut checkbox selected, not checked. And if we down arrow, it says create a quick launch shortcut, so that would be up to you. Create a desktop shortcut checkbox selected, not checked. And of course, those are the only two options, create a desktop and or create a quick launch shortcut. That is up to you. I am going to leave those two unchecked. And I'm going to tab. Create a quick launch shortcut checkbox selected, not checked. Back button Alt E. Next button Alt N. And I'm going to hit enter on the next button. Install. Here it's going to automatically drop you into the install field. But let's tab around and see what we have here. Cancel button. Of course we have a cancel. Click install to continue with the installation. Or click back if you want to review or change any settings. Edit read only multi-line. Destination location. So here where it says the edit field and what you heard about click the edit button to change preferences or whatever it said. You get to read here where it's going to install and all the yada yada yada, the Team Talk Classic for accessibility, all that fun stuff. But I'm not going to bore you with that. You can explore that with your own leisure time or however you choose to do this. So we're going to tab Back button multi. until we hear install button multi. Install and we're going to hit enter. Next, cancel button 9%, 20%, 35%, 45%, 55%, 65%, 76%, 86%, 97%. Set setup is finished installing Team Talk 5 on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the install shortcuts. Click finish to exit setup. Preview launch Team Talk checkbox selected checked. So by default, it's going to give you progress percentage depending on your screen reader and depending how fast your computer is. In my case, I have a pretty decent fast computer. So as you heard, it installed quickly. So here you can either A, choose to run Team Talk. Or B, you can uncheck it and not run TeamTalk and configure it at a later date. 
In this case, we are going to leave this box checked and we're going to tab until we hear finish. Button, finish. Setup unavailable. Team Talk 5 Classic Dialog at Team Talk 5 Classic to Windows Firewall Exceptions. Yes, but no why. So when you open Team Talk, you're going to hear a little beep and it's going to ask you, do you want to add Team Talk in your firewall exceptions? I would definitely say yes to this. So I am going to hit enter on yes. No, but no, then. And of course, I just tab around to explore the screen. Yes, but no, why? So you only have two options, yes or no. By default, it's going to land you on yes. So we're going to hit enter. Tree view. Here we are on a tree view. And we will cover this in the next session.